I wanted to make this short video about the stock RX-8 airbox, just to kind of show folks, especially folks that are new to the platform, just so um, just so they can understand it a little bit better. If you know this information already, then it helps um, to be a refresher. If you don't, hopefully this helps you understand a little bit how the stock airbox works, which is important, especially when you start and you get tempted to turn this into a cold air, you know, the very popular cold air intake that comes through here, comes out of here, and then all the way at the bottom here, the filter comes right here. Now, I am I use the cold air intake, and as I expressed in my other video, uh, it was doing more harm than good. Essentially, I lost a lot of low-end power, so I just wanted to make a quick video to show folks uh, what the stock air box looks like, no, but also how it functions. Um, we'll start with this section here. This is the resonator uh, that I mentioned in my previous video, which is very important to the speed uh, of the air as it goes into the engine, especially once what happens when you hit that throttle, when you open and close the throttle, that kind of pressure, you know, backfires, if you will, from going in. So it goes into the here, bounces around here a little bit, sorry, bounces around, around here, open the throttle again, it goes back in. And as you know, for a rotary, especially these Renesis engine, um, airspeed is very important. Now here you have your stock gearbox. Uh, you, the, one of the most th thing to notice is just this curvature here, which helps with the speed, the flow of air, smooth it out so it's not such a rough um, entry, I guess, into the intake tube. But just to show you the kind of length that Mazda went. To, to, to try to, in the engineering that they put into this dock air box. Um, another piece of it that you might want to know is these vacuum lines here. Uh, if you ever buy one, just make sure they're all in, in place. What happens is, let me just move this one up here. This vacuum line here, right? Con this connects to this section here. And then you have the sensor that then connects to this piece. And depending on air speed, uh, uh, RPMs or how heavy you're on the pedal, the vacuum gets, a uh, line gets applied to here, which then, let me see, travels through here, and then to this section here, which then connects to this piece here, which, opens and closes this valve. So with no, with no vac when there's no vacuum here, let me put it in this way. It looks like they're both open, but the moment, hold on a second. When we apply some vacuum, let me see if I can. It looks like, oh man, I was, uh, I need to start running. The moment you apply vacuum, this valve closes and appears that all the air now comes from this side and then essentially flows in through here. So just something to keep in mind um, as you start changing parts of the RX-8 or start looking at uh, one, because that would be very important, especially at the high RPM, if these hoses are not in place. Um, especially start looking at them in the used market where folks have been, you know, disrespecting the platform, if you will, and just doing whatever they want with it. So just keep that in mind. All right. Good luck, everyone.